fishyacker.com the original kayak rigging video series hi it's john oost from fishyacker.com over the years i've kind of wondered whether kayaks really do get brittle as the temperatures go down so tonight it's well it's between 10 or 11 degrees outside right now and the temps are still dropping so i decided to take a piece of plastic scrap material from when I was rigging a kayak previously and set it outside of my back porch here in northeast Pennsylvania. And a few hours I'm going to go back outside and, and uh, take it in front of the camera and see if I can crack it. That way, you know, we'll have a better idea as to, you know, how, how brittle or fragile that plastic might get in, in low temperatures. So uh, let's take a look and see what happens. Well, it's a little before sunrise right now. I just came back inside. The temps had dropped quite a bit since last night. And I, I went outside and I tried everything I could to, to crack the plastic. I flexed it. I bent it basically in half. Uh, I even hit it with a hammer. I even put it on the, on the, on the floor of the, the porch and tried stomping on it to, to bend it all the way over. And as you can see here, it... It, uh, it did bend quite well, but it still never shattered. So I feel pretty confident, uh, at least with the boats that I have, if I happen to drop it while I'm transporting it, uh, or it slides off my rack or something like that when I'm car topping, at least in the colder temperatures, at least under uh, those conditions, I'm pretty sure it'll be able to hold up and won't shatter and be quite as fragile as I thought they might be. Again, uh, this doesn't mean that every kayak is or at all, all conditions. But um, and at least with a high quality name brand kayak like most of us are using for, for kayak fishing specifically, I, I, I think that the plastic oil is, is quite durable with those uh, low temperatures. Again though, if you have another uh, material kayak or an inferior plastic, if it's not a, a thicker rotomolded plastic, I, it's another story. But if you look back at the, the previous video on inferior plastics, if you have a thinner hull or a, not as high of a quality plastic material, I think you probably could uh, shatter it. Uh, but at least with a thicker rotomolded plastic, I think we're pretty safe unless, I don't know, you drop it from a substantial distance. But again, uh, Everything, you know, it's all, all conditional, but I think at least uh, for under tip of wear and tear and, and banging it around, uh, I think that type of plastic, at least what I have with Mike Johnson Outdoors boats with the Ocean Kayaks, Old Towns, and, and Neckies, I think the rotomotive plastic will, you know, will uh, sustain pretty much uh, the, the general dropping of it that I might do. So I uh, hope it helps out. might give you a little bit more confidence. It gives me a little bit more confidence. I feel a little bit better about uh working around the kayaks when it's really cold, like down in the single digits or around zero. Uh, but anyway, hope it helps you out. When, again, I want to ask you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook, and we've got a whole lot more videos. I think this is a video we put up number 166. So there's a whole lot more information we have here with fishyacker.com. And again, hope you, the, the tip helps you out a little bit, and we'll catch you on the water. Thanks for watching.